All right, in the last video, we created a parallax background as kind of like the final bit of polish to complete our game. Inside of this video, we're going to be creating a new scene that will be the end of the game itself. So let's go ahead and go into our scenes folder. And let's just hit this plus button right here, make a 2D scene, and call it the end. We'll hit Control S to save it. We'll go into our scenes, the end.tsen. That's fine. There we go. And now we want to add a child scene to this. We're going to make a canvas layer be the whole thing. And then we're going to create a label for it. And once again, we're going to go to our font, custom font. There we go. We're going to add a new dynamic font. And inside this dynamic font, we're going to go down to font and we're going to load some data into it. We're going to do this one right here because that's the one that we like. And we're going to go to layout inside of label and we want to do the center of the screen. And then we can hit this play button right here, this uh, play button, and it'll play the scene specifically. Right now, nothing is happening, which is fine. And we want to write the text, the end, into it. And let's play the scene, see how big that text is, because we're going to have to be changing that around. Let's make that a lot larger. You can see this blue box is kind of relative to everything. If we go down to the font, if we go down to the settings, we can set this up to be a lot bigger, like that, for instance. And if we go up to grow direction, and we set the horizontal and vertical to both, that will make it so that it's actually at the center of the screen, at the center of our little text box here, that it actually does that. We also want to go down to uh, using a filter on here so that the edges don't get all messed up like so, as you can see. And we probably want to make this more like 200 in size. And there you go, the end just shows up like so. And also, I might even want those stars here in the background. Let's go ahead and instance our scene into here, so instant child scene. Let's go over to the background. And let's play the scene one more time. And just for fun, why don't we just to create something a little bit different. Let's actually just go ahead and hit the plus button onto this, the, the end script here. And let's go and add a function process, like so. And let's actually just move us. Translate, and let's vector to and for X, we're not going to do anything, but for Y, let's do like negative 10 times delta. You know what? And just for fun, let's go ahead and make a constant scroll speed. And let's set this equivalent to negative 10. And this little parentheses right here, hit this for the scene right here. And see if we're scrolling or not. Let's add a kinematic body 2D to it. Add this as a child of that kinematic body 2D. Let's actually go make this a physics process instead. Let's then go money sign kinematic body 2D dot move and slide. And then now let's just move it upwards at that same exact speed that we had before. So vector 2. And we'll do 0 on the x, scroll speed on the y. Add a camera 2D to it. Is this thing just not moving? And I forgot to set the camera to current. So if you check the current box on the camera, that will fix this issue of the stars not moving. Uh, and then you're going to see that the scroll speed's way too fast. So let's go ahead and go back into here and set it to about half the speed at negative 500. Play the scene again to see how it looks. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Stars are moving. Maybe even ha half that speed at like 250. There we go. And now the stars are scrolling through nicely in the background while we are seeing the end on here. And I think that's that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty much all we want for the end. So now it's just about playing it through. So we go back to our global.gd on here and when... We're going to now make a new thing here that says elif. You know what? We only have two levels, so we don't need to. But just, just to show you guys, we're going to do elif level equals equals 2. Then we will once again go level plus equals 1. And instead of doing this, we will say git tree. And we're going to do the same exact thing that we did here before. Except for we're going to play the end.tscn. Now let's go play through the game one last time. And 
And that's it for the series, guys. Yeah, so anyways. It's a, it was uh, still me learning about Godot and you guys learning about Godot, which is probably not a good mixture of things, but eh, it's what I wanted to see when I first started. I'll make a better series next, showing some better coding uh, processes and stuff. And I'll probably go a little bit more thorough on all the beginner level stuff as well. But... And I'm not sure what I want to do for the next game, so like, let me know what you guys want me to do for the next series of Godot. I'm still working on my Unity series. So, yeah, I guess that's about it, guys. I hope that you really enjoyed yourselves, that you had a lot of fun with this. This is what you guys wanted to see. I have no idea if that's true or not. But I had a lot of fun. So thanks for hanging out with me. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Especially leave some comments. Let me know what you guys want to see inside the next series. Thanks, guys. The end. Bye.